Hi guys! It's tea time! So I had the most interesting day. I sat down to film a Revenge of the Q&A, but then I made myself some tea. And now I'm doing this bit because it amuses me heavily. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Jesse. This is Revenge of the Q and or A. I'm in the UK. I'm rhyming is what I'm doing. I'm drinking some tea. Hi everybody, what am I doing? Rambling, that's what. I'm in the UK. You're probably wondering what are you doing in the UK right now? Well, I'm in London and I'm here on one, sort of a vacay, and two, because I'm planning CoxCon. So CoxCon, for those of you who are wondering, isn't just some sort of like glorified Celebrate Jesse event. Uh, it's just the name. It's the name we had last year and I decided to go with it. It feels good, I'm not gonna lie. But really, it's just a weekend event to get together with fans and my friends and just go crazy. So it's gonna be myself and uh, Duger and Sam and Crendor and Toaster Woman and a few other people who I will not mention yet because as it stands right now, tickets are almost sold out for round one. We have two... Um, blocks of tickets and tickets are already sold out and I haven't even made a video. This is basically the first video introduction of it. So we're almost sold out for round one tickets, but round two is coming soon and it will come after a very big announcement. That's all I'm gonna say. We'll leave it at that. Whatever it could be, I don't know. And we'll save it for then. But if you wanna get in now, please do. And uh, the link's in the description below. So that's that. It's in the UK. I, I think that explains why I'm here again. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a blast. We're, the Shibuzi gang is setting up everything and it's gonna have uh, gaming and board gaming and hopefully we'll get some vendors to show up. That'd be swell. And um, all sorts of stuff. We're trying to get an arcade to bring some cabinets and things. It, it should be a lot of fun. Um, the money that we're charging for this is 25 pounds, but it's not going to me, like into my pocket. It's going to pay for everything. So uh, hopefully, all the money that we generate from this will help make it a just badass convention. So, I'm on vacation, but working the entire time. So yeah, you'll have videos like this one and you know, the normal ones. And if you can help me find some games that I can play on my laptop, I can record those as well. Uh, you can't see it, but I have an actual microphone stuff set up over there. So it might be a little echoey, but Content's content. Trust me. I've seen some of the shit you watch. It is the worst. If you can put up with that, you can put up with this. Anyway, I have nothing to promote. I know a lot of people are still interested in the Space Butterfly and the t-shirt. It's still there. Buy it while you can. Uh, like I said in a previous video, they ordered a ton more and it's they still have a ton, <laughs> ton left. They sold out the first run and then they were like, we should order a bunch more. And they did. And now they just have like stock so buy it whatever you want because it'll be there for a while i assume uh let's i guess move on to questions i don't have a hat with me i didn't really plan ahead but i do have my phone and i can go through and find some questions and we'll go from there what say you it's the only option you have so that's what we're doing okay <clears throat> oh this is a good question the first so what do you, oh, this is from Matt the Raccoon. Without the paper, it's very difficult. From Matt the Raccoon, he wants to know, so what's your say on Dodgers sellout video for Snickers? Good show, that's my say. Ooh, how British on me. Good show, Dodger. <laughs> she earned that money, what a sellout whore. <laughs> Look, if Snickers would have approached me, I would have taken that money too. That's Snickers money. That's Mars bars money. Is Mars Snickers, whatever it is. That's a chocolate money. I would have taken that. Got me a new ride. Named it the Lightning Chocolate Mobile. <laughs> I guess that's what I would have named it. So if Snickers wants to approach me, call me Snickers. I'd do a video. Oh, I could be the before monster. Like, I'm so angry. And then it turns into like a hot, young Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, I like this question. Even though it's from Anonymous. Just put your name down. It makes it easier. All right. <clears> hmm. <throat> Why is it most of your animated versions never have glasses? This is a good question. Is this something you request to avoid looking like a nerd? Or simply looks more like you as a character? Um, honestly, I have never once instructed 
anyone on how to draw me. And in fact, I think uh, the only instructions I've ever given is the art piece that I want, which is me riding atop a unicorn naked while women clutch to the unicorn's feet as I hold a flaming sword fighting a dragon while cherubs fly in the sky around the sun. Um, it's, it, you know, oh, oh, it's, that's my only request. But most of the animations, like Dan's animations, most of the fan animations, the animations from the podcast, are basically done through their mind's eye. I think Dan set the standard when he created the Cox and Crendor animations, and he just didn't include glasses. I don't know why. Sometimes he does when he does, like, really funny close-up shots, but he just didn't include them. And I guess that's just sort of the way they ran with it. Everyone's pretty much taken that format and gone with it, which is fine by me, because, you know, I don't, I don't care. I could take them off, but if I did, it would change the way you see me forever. You wouldn't see me as the smart, intellectual genius that I am. You'd see me as some goofball on the internet, and I don't want that. <laughs> uh, Mark wants to know, do you have a waifu? Of course, uh, Jerry from Street Fighter. That's the easiest answer possible. Usually you would notice in most of my uh, videos at home that she's either up in one of these corners, wherever she's at. Uh, I got her done by like one of the big artists from Street Fighter. And then I have like a giant jury statue. Don't mess with that girl. She's tough as nails. Also, she's evil, which I think that's why I like her. But uh, oh yeah, she's my super waifu. Okay, this is an easy one. Fire up my psyche wants to know. Who's the funniest person you have ever worked with and or met? Um, the funniest person I've ever worked with, hands down, hands down, even though I don't think he would agree with this, is Alex Fasciani, one of the beard bros. Dude cracks me up. He's in uh, what I consider one of my best series, Multiplayer Mayhem. He's the guy who's not Gerard, and he is hilarious. He reminds me of this kid I knew in high school named Matt, who just by talking would crack me up. Like, you didn't even have to say anything funny, but it came out very funny. And it wasn't intentionally funny. He just was a really funny guy. And that's sort of how I feel about Alex. He's just hilarious. Generally hilarious. One of my favorite videos of his, I'll link it below, is a video called, I think, 2012 or something like that, where it's just a spoof of the movie 2012 every time they say 2012. And I don't even... I don't even know what to say about it. It cracks me up still to this day. Um, he's hilarious, and I consider him a very, very, very good friend who is just the kind of guy you the kind of guy you bring to the bachelor party because he knows what's up. Uh, let's see, one last question. Um, Natalie wants to know what's the deal with video quality. <laughs> that's a, that's a great final question. So I assume you're talking about on YouTube. Um, YouTube video quality is so wonky, just the jankiest jank that ever janked. It, it, basically, the process of uploading a video is very complicated, like from, from recording to rendering to uploading. There's a lot of steps in the way. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I will simply say the process on YouTube is whatever video you upload in whatever format you upload, YouTube then reformats all of that re-renders all that into its own codec. So it can be played, you know, in all the different youtube ways it is, and all the different sizes and all that different crap. I don't know how they do it. I don't know why they do what they do to it, but I assume it makes it easier for everyone to view. The basic gist, though, is depending on how big of a file size, how long the upload takes, uh, what's going on on YouTube that day, it could take anywhere from 20 minutes to eight hours to process. And that's what we complain about on, on Twitter when we're talking about processing. I can make a video that's, uh, let's say, 25 minutes long, right? A normal Let's Play Jesse video. I go online, I upload that video. That video is in 1080p, right? 1080p, 60 frames a second. All the processes that go on there is YouTube now has to convert all that to YouTube codec. And that is because 60 frames per second plus it's 1080 it has to go through all the different things so that's why sometimes you see it as 360 at first and then 480 and some people see it at 240 and one something and my god is it a mess but in the end it happens no matter what almost all the time sometimes it breaks no joke and you have to re-upload it but most of the time it will uh process without much of an issue but it'll just take however long it takes and then eventually be 1080p but my God, let me tell you, it is the biggest hassle. 
just the biggest hassle. But what are you gonna do? It's the only platform we have to distribute and make money distributing videos like this. So you put up with it, you suck it up, and you move on. Um, there are things you can do to sort of speed it up. There's different uh, codecs you can use, MP4, H.264. Um, the uh, You can change the actual file size or the bit rate or the sound quote, all these different things. And all these little finagly things you can do to tweak and it can make the upload go faster, it can make the video look better when it's finally processed by YouTube. But a lot of the time, now that you can do 60 FPS videos, all the things that made videos at 30 FPS look good now make it look like shit at uh, 60 FPS. So it's a learning process. You noticed during some of my Far Cry videos when they switched over to 60 FPS that the videos got like weirdly grainy Lessons learned. Hopefully it's not nearly as bad now, but 60 FPS, while it looks great visually, um, like speed-wise, graphically it messes with the, I don't know, guys, it's a pain in the ass. But hopefully that answered your question. If it didn't, just don't look at me because I don't know that I have the answer to it. But um, that's it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, more videos will be coming soon of the Dragon Age and Far Cry variety, and I'll do some uh, fancy videos with the computer over there and we'll see what happens and we'll, we'll have a bunch of fun and uh yeah thank you for watching and as always to be continued coxcon 2015 is coming